Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I last uploaded, but uh, yeah, just been uh, kind of stressed lately with work and the enormous amount of mods that I have to do textiles for and the fact that I still have to get three GTA vehicles in and all that stuff and I want to get stuff done on video games and all that good stuff and it's just a lot to handle. But, not entirely sure which one this is. Because I have a dot blend and an import dot blend. Uh, I'll move all this stuff over here so you guys can see that. The 911 GT3, this is what it looks like normally. Let's fire this up. So there we have it. Uh, kind of heavy on the tries and but tries and faces. Uh, pretty heavy on the verts as well. But we have a sick looking uh, Damiscus paint job here. Or at least I think that's what it is. I don't know. That's what I'm calling it. Because it's, it's not quite camo. But uh, yeah. But yeah. So. This is the fancy one. But. Okay, the badges are the only thing that's decimated on here. At all. So, the headlights will be. I think that ring in the back. These four. And then this plate down here. Uh, the extra lights will be these. Indicators, obviously. Uh, okay, that is not a light. And then indicator, reverse light. Uh, I'm thinking probably tail light and brake light, I think I have that set as. Where's the light? Reverse light. Where is? How did I not separate the indicators? Well then. I wonder if it's one of the other ones. Yep. So tail light, and then. Oh, no. Okay. Those are separated. Indicator. I'm not sure where all the other ones are. Yeah, every single light left. Glass. Oh, every single light middle. Okay, yeah, that's that down there. Reverse right. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where it is. Right rear chrome. Where is left rear? Oh, wow. Okay, whatever. I use big dumb. And then that should be brake light. So we have our tail light, our brake light, and I think that's just extra spare background stuff. Yeah, that it would be. Uh, but I will make this so that. This is an extra, so that is optional to remove. 
and then the wing is optional to remove and that is that is all fixed don't worry about that oh and then the sun strip because I apparently know how to do mods now I don't know I made one work with the Camaro so yes much much too big and then uh we're gonna go with this one because i think this already had yeah this has everything uh optimized and everything so basically looks the same Look, looks exactly the same much much lower still a little heavy on the tries and faces though so we're gonna see the verts should be fine however if we select everything It does have 862,000 edges. So I think the edges and the verts kind of combine, and then the faces and the tries kind of combine. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. The verts on here is vertices in Blender. That number is different than the vertice count in Zmodeler. And then that, and then both of those are different than the vertice count in open IV which makes absolutely no sense but that's the way it is so I have no idea but we're gonna see if we can get this down a little more only 38 objects we started out with like uh, 200 I think or something with the base model so yeah we've come a long way so you extra one extra two extra three so you can have it look like this or any combination of these so we are going to hide everything select body shell go to the modifiers tab add a decimate modifier and a weighted normal so the texture does not move then we're going to select all and we select the body shell first so that highlights everything in this so then we go control L and modifiers and that will apply these two modifiers to everything in here and they're both at a ratio of one so the quality will not change at all from this point we can go a H for select all and then hide and then we can click on it click off that'll refresh this you can double check that that is what is in the hierarchy and then we begin to decimate and a lot of times this is what I look forward to the face count because I think well that's a little much but so I can find one that's a little lower Like this one, like extra two, extra three, like really, three thousand. It's not gonna be a whole lot. Or perhaps even like the hubs. That's not bad for the hubs. Wheels. Those are. That's actually pretty good. We might not even need to touch those. And screens and stuff we gotta be careful with we don't want to lower those down too much like these extra lights like they're not even a thousand I wouldn't even worry about those and you see a little bit of deformation over there really if there's any crucial spots like over here or something that you might want to watch out for you can go okay that's roughly 0.68 you can go 0.69 enter and see if it changes it or jump it to 0.75 
Oh, one doesn't even change it. Okay. Well, it's only for a spot that it does change. And you can see it kind of moves the texture around a little bit, but really not a whole lot. And really, we could drag this down quite a bit, and it still looks pretty good. Like, the reflections aren't really messed up at all, and everything still looks pretty nice. Except for the back here. The back here is looking a little, looking a little warped. So, 0 0.3 is a little much, so let's jump back up to 0 0.5. Still looking a little bad over here. Let's double check. Okay, so we'll do 0 0.7. Uh, actually, 0 0.73 is 0 0.75. Does that fix most of that? That it does. What about 0.74? That brings it back. 0 0.743. Most of the time you don't need to do like, you really only need to do tenths and hundredths, so 0.74, roughly 42,000 to 0.75, it adds another like 500, so I wouldn't even worry about that. So that looks pretty good for that. And then I like to just move right on to the next one. And this has got a bunch of random stuff in here. So, and if there's stuff like I don't know, kind of stuff like this that's a little lower poly you can detach that if you want or like this that's fairly low poly you can detach that I mean up there is a little more high poly but honestly I think these were if I remember correctly these were uh, about the most deformed so right about there so point eight eight point eight seven you can see a little tint in there a little bit along the edge there whereas that fixes that point eight nine doesn't really fix that but we're still getting a little higher, so I think 0.88 should be fine. That I want to double check though. Okay. And most of the background of that's going to be uh, gone, anyways, so. Alright, so I think that'll probably work. And like here, if we want to go a little closer, rotating is kind of weird. You can just hit, uh, I don't know, the period. It's not period, it's delete. Oops. Okay, it's not delete. On the number pad, hit period. It also says delete, but. And then a lot of times with the brakes like this, I like to uh, detach those, so I'll go back here and explain what I did. So select, hit tab to go into edit, press L to select similar, or I guess, I don't know, connected, P to bring up the separate menu, and then just by selection. And then we can decimate this, and it starts ripping that apart. So that we're gonna leave the same. We're gonna bring the glass in, and that starts ripping out the texture there too. So we're just gonna go back. And that one will be the same as that one, so, and honestly, really, they're, uh, they're only 6,000, so I would, I, I would probably not even worry about those in the first place. Uh, here, it's maybe a little bit on the dash. 
possibly this corner right here. Keep an eye out, make sure that doesn't get any worse. Uh, you can detach the seats if you want. Maybe in this maybe even this button we'll watch out for. I mean, really you're not gonna be this zoomed in on it, so probably not gonna notice that too much. a little bit up there not too bad those I'm not really worried about that I might be a little that might that I might be a little worried about was it at six point or point six eight or point seven it's right one oh well that's unfortunate Alright then, 0.68 it is, I suppose. Or like this one where it's 16 polygons, we're not, we're, we're definitely not worried about that, or two. Yeah. Yeah, we're not worried about this. This one we might worry about. Legit, just the uh, headlight casing being 20,000 polygons. Maybe a little much. Think about good. I know me. Decimated it by half. Okay. Third passenger side. We're just going to go 0.5. Leave it at that. Move on. The spoiler. I know this one I had to mess around with these a little. But there's where I start nosing it kind of get bad so let's just back that up a little bit since this is a little lower poly yeah that's fine nobody's gonna zoom in that far anyways uh, this is like this because I did have to trim some of that off because some of the other textures were floating through there but all of the original is all there and then this black stuff is just going to be transparent so you don't have to worry about that do all those balligans I can worry about it oh, actually the mods or whatever you really don't have to worry about because uh, yeah not worry about those 
I thought it might be a little much. But also we got the glass in here, so. Yeah, it's gonna start decimating. Okay, never mind. I ain't gonna worry about those. This is starting to get a little bad over here. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of bad. Okay, moving on. Oh, 400. Not messing with that. Also 400. Okay, 15,000 might be a little much. Is this going to be like the other one? The glass really doesn't need it. The glass is 300, you know, we're not messing with that. That's 15,000. <clears> 15,600, let's see what this does. Yeah, it starts pulling it all apart. Ripping pepperonis, mate. I'm not gonna worry about it. Meh. Steering wheel, we can leave. Okay, nope, not messing with that. Yeah, the whole thing's only. Actually, to uh, to get these to join back together, you select which one whose name you want to save, and then hold shift and select the rest, and then move your cursor back out here and go control J, and that will link them. Or join them, I guess. <clears throat> Hey, you might be able to see a little bit. 1.67. And then really we only need this one, so... But I'm pretty sure... Oh no, the, wide, the, old, no, the rear ones are wider. I think, right? Yeah, the rear ones are a little more big chung guy. This one we can go 0.67. Right? Where did we set this one at? Yeah, 0.67. Not really any difference, so keep. Crinkle down there. That only says like a hundred. We're not gonna worry about that. Kind 
kind of starts crinkling the edges, that'll be fine. Whatever, that'll be fine. Okay, so then just Alt-H to unhide everything. And then actually, these will not be there. So there we go, we lowered it to that. So we took about 160,000 polygons off, or something like that, I think. Or no, it was at, what, it was at 450 something before? I think, so, uh, yeah. So we lowered it by about 1,100. So, that's not bad. It's pretty good. Now, sadly, there's no apply all on these, but what you can do is control, hold that down, and then A, and just push A twice for each of the modifiers. Now, uh, control Z to rewind. If you... If you accept the weighted normal before the decimate, it'll mess up. It'll mess with the textures. So let's get kind of zoomed in here. So if we were to accept that first, you can see how it messes with the normals and yada yada yada. Whereas if we accept those, everything stays the same. And. Like here, where it's just 100, just they accept them. It's not going to do anything. Side note while I'm doing this, uh, Forza Horizon 4 is installed, and I've been playing that a bit recently. And by a bit, I mean I've been swapping between that and Apex. But, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would do some recording of that later tonight, but Vampire's game is not wanting to connect to online for some reason, so we'll probably make that a tomorrow night deal. Um, but I figured I'd work on decimating this a little bit, show you guys how to decimate in Blender, all that good stuff. Uh, we're just going to save this as the import, and then if you export this as OBJ, if you want to keep all of these as individual objects, Make sure you switch to OBJ groups and then just export it. And that'll leave it as extra one and everything like that. And if something if something exceeds the polygon vertice limit in Z modeler, then you still have the main blender file as import. So say what's something that's a little I don't know, prob probably probably body shell miscellaneous A. Right? So say say we import the whole model and it says, oh, well this one exceeded the polygon limit, so we split it in half. Or we we just we split it into into two different parts. You'd then come back here and see if you can you I mean you might have to separate some of the lower poly stuff and just decimate some of the higher poly stuff a little more see if you can get that below the limit the ultimate goal is to get this kind of low and then import the entire thing into Z modeler and not have it split anything because then you have multiple things to worry about When you're done, I would look at the miscellaneous ones and see this one's cutting it kind of close. 
so I wouldn't join those. But those are the only two miscellaneouses, and uh, the Camaro has two miscellaneous objects too, so not too worried about that. Uh, the Porsche might as well too. I think that one's got two as well. But that was already saved and exported, so and that'll show up as a blend one file. We can perma delete that because we have our other file. And the OBJ will just overwrite itself. And same thing with the material list for it. <clears throat> uh, I'll probably end up recording Apex. I know Vampire just got a win on uh, Ranked. So we'll probably hit that up a couple times. See if uh, see if they actually fix their skill-based matchmaking. But yeah, I figured I'd, figured I'd probably do something with this work on it some more before somebody else discovers the 3D model and decides to do it. Um, but, yeah. We got our textures here. I made a custom spec map just from the normal textures and stuff like that. I gotta mess with the dash a little bit because it shows that we're in like second gear or something like that. I'm just gonna wipe that. Um, I'll probably do a custom spec map for this just so that the Damiscus kind of shows up a little better honestly not even sure if I'm gonna need this burnt interior I might I, I might use that for the dials I don't know but we'll see we'll see we'll see and like I said with that spec map so I would go to just normal maps. This one, GitHub normal map online. So like that, and then you would just either click here and select file location, or you would uh, just drag and drop an image over here. Uh, unchecking rotation might save on your. Uh, Possibly plane too. Uh, you can even load your OBJ file. I'm not going to do that now because it has to upload the OBJ file and that's going to eat up way too much of my hotspot. But we'll just double check this real quick, make sure nobody put it out yet. <coughs> you know, how we do. Pretty good, pretty good. Serve punk car. Not sure how the glass works on that. Kind of seems a little weird, but. It's just me. Good, good. Good, 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 good. But yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get some Horizon out. Uh, I do have... Uh, what is it? Uh, for the Horizon 4, like, I don't know, the VIP one. It was... Uh, no, I'm going to make myself look this up. I don't know what the settings Just refresh. Downloads. Installed. I don't know. I got everything. Thank you. What? 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 what, 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 what? what kind of stuff we got for this? What kind of updates we got? Apparently, there's an update. I hate how it doesn't give you like an. Oh, well, this is out of so much. You know, game, because uh, we can't download enormous amounts of stuff. Move that to the other screen. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 update. February 20th. 10th, 2021. Uh, 
accessibility improvements and uh, issues with players crashing when delivery changes. Two gigs! Bruh! Two gigs to fix crashes with liveries? January 13th, yeah, those. Those before we need the February 10th one. Yeah, apparently this is just bug fixes. Oh no, this is, uh, says it's known as Update 32, also known as Series 32. It is the 32nd upcoming major content update for Forza Horizon 4. It adds eight new cars in the game, the two being Festival Playlist Rewards, and the rest being exclusively Hot Wheels Legends Car Pack. So apparently we have a 2-Jet Z, a Chevy Love, L-U-V, not my choice, uh, Ford F5 Dually Custom. Finally, we got a Dually truck. Woohoo! Uh, an International Harvester. So, a tractor. A Nash Metropolitan Custom. And a Stude Baker Dream Roadster. And from February 11th at 2.30 p.m. UTC to March 11th, at 2.30 p.m. UTC. Uh, it adds series completion bonuses, uh, one Horizon Backstage Pass at 50% completion, and a uh, an Epic 2018 ATS GT hard-to-find car, 80% uh, completion. Let's bring that over here while that's updating. So we got this. And then, is this what's new? I thought we had most of this stuff. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. Ah, uh, yes. There's no text for this page. Oh no. So we're like, search Google? Aha. Oh. No, not shopping. Images. Alright, alright. Not too bad, not too bad. She's looking fine. What else we got? Not too bad, not too bad. She's looking nice. She's looking nice. What do we got? Well, dang, son. We cooking now. I might have to get that. That's looking dope. The front end of this looks like a Zenvo. Sneak peeks while the game updates. Ha ha. Hmm. Well, that's not what I was expecting. For all intents and purposes, I hope it looks like this. That would be dope. Honestly, it looks kind of stupid, but it looks dope. I'm not sure why, but it looks dope. Ooh. 
That looks kind of cool. We need this in here too. Let's see, that's a 57. Yeah, okay. It is this one. Kind of got a Corvette look to it. What do we got? Alright, alright. That'd be kind of cool. Oh. Well, there you go. <gasps> it does look like that. It does look like that. <laughs> I was kidding, but alright, I'll take it. That looks dope. Well, well there you have it. Well, there you have it, folks. That's going to finish updating and eating two gigs of my hotspot data. Thanks, Forza. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go play some, uh, some Apex Legends with my boy Vampire and possibly Krieger as well. I don't know if he's up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, yeah, kind of sorry for uh, wasting, like, 20 minutes getting some Forza sneak peeks and whatnot. But, uh, I don't know. I think it was worth it. Who knows? Not me, that's for sure. All right, I'm done wasting your time. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.